Good day, Arizona. I'm here with local wildlife expert Elise Stoops to learn about the fascinating western diamondback rattlesnake. Elise, what can you tell us about this fascinating snake? Well, possibly some adaptations. They are pit vipers, and pit vipers have a heat-sensing pit behind each nostril that has the ability to detect a fraction of a degree apart in an animal to determine whether that animal is going to be predator or prey. Wow. Well, with that in mind, can you tell us where do these snakes live, and maybe more importantly, where don't they live? <laughs> well, they're considered a generalist, which means it's not very picky about where it lives, so it can be found living in deserts, grassy plains, forests, rocky hillsides, and coastal areas, and it lives in elevations from sea level to 7,000 feet, so pretty much anywhere. That wasn't the answer I was hoping for. Okay, what, what do they prey on, Elise? Well, they will prey on mice, rats, rabbits, gophers, ground dwelling board, birds that are sort of like roadrunners, and lizards, up and other small animals. But not people? They do bite people. Scary. Well, on that note, Ellie, can you share some final interesting facts about this, this snake? Yes. So, the venom, when they bite into prey, it can remain in the prey for years. Also, they add a rattle with each molt, which is them shedding their skin, which is two to three times per year. And so, and th with that molt, they will lose older rattles and gain new ones. So, you can't tell how old a snake is just by looking at its rattles. Also, it can live to be up to 20 years old, which is pretty old for a snake. And it is also responsible for more snake bites than any other snake in the whole American Southwest. So kind of like California, Arizona, you know, in that area. Well, there you have it, Arizona. The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Watch your step. Hey, bro, do you know why snakes are hard to fool? Elise, I don't! No! They have no legs to pull.